to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. It's Wednesday, so it's a what I eat in a day. I am so excited to share my day with you guys. We are looking at houses with a client. We have a really good crock pot dinner recipe, all my food throughout the day. I'm going to talk to you guys about my glasses because I've been getting a ton of compliments on my glasses, so I wanted to share those with you guys. We just have a lot of fun in store for us today. So if you're new to my channel, stick around and subscribe. I'd love to have you join my community. It's a super fun place to be. Give it a thumbs up if you love what I eat in a days and make sure that you are checking out that description box down below. You're going to find links and discount codes to the products that I shared with you today, as well as all of my favorite things. My nutrition coaching website where I can help figure your macros and calories. It's really important to kind of know what you should be eating every day when it comes to all of your macros. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, a little bit of something for everyone. So check out that description box. Also, you'll find the link to join us in my community on Facebook, 17,000 members strong and growing. So you can join us there as well. So we have a really fun day today. So let's jump in. what I eat in a day video, I wanted to talk to you guys about my glasses because I've been getting a lot of questions and compliments. I did wear these in a couple of videos and you guys made a compliment on these specific frames that you really like them. So just kind of a little bit of backstory. A few months ago, I guess maybe four or five months ago, I was having trouble seeing far away. So I decided to go ahead and go to the eye doctor. As I've gotten into my mid forties, I figured that my eyesight would obviously deteriorate just a little bit. So I went to the doctor and ended up getting a prescription for some glasses, which I do wear when I'm working on my computer and sometimes when I'm driving at night. So with having glasses now, I've kind of grown to like them. I like them as statements for fashion pieces. I like them obviously for the reason that they help me see better. So when Zimp Optical reached out to me, this is them right here and asked if I would like to pick out a couple of pairs of glasses, I said, absolutely. Because like I said, I've been wearing them a lot and I'm really kind of liking them as statement pieces. So Zip kindly sent me two pairs of glasses. Now, again, you can choose them with your prescription or you can get them just for accessories without a prescription at all. So again, I was able to pick out two pairs of glasses. So I grabbed two and I have been loving them both. And this is one of the pairs. The one that you guys keep saying how much you like. This is the Aphrodite in the color tortoise. So when my glasses came, they came in this nice box right here. It has a cleaning cloth and a reusable or a storage plastic container with a foam lining for your glasses. So all of the glasses come again with the case with the foam lining in the nice box. So they would be a nice gift as well. And then they all come with a cleaning cloth. So here's the cleaning cloth that comes with each pair of glasses as well. So you can choose them again with or without prescription. So these again, Aphrodite in tortoise. So I love these. I've been wearing these a lot. I've actually worn them a few times to show houses and my clients have even complimented me. There's so many any styles to choose from dozens and dozens of styles depending on your face shape you can even upload your picture and try different glasses on lots of options on their website so again the first pair I picked out were these Aphrodite in tortoise I will link Zim optical down below with the glasses I chose and they are also going to give me a discount for you guys which is really really cool it is not an affiliate link it's just simply a discount for you so I'll link that down below as well so let me show you the second pair of glasses that I 
I picked up. So here's the second pair, and these are the Apollo in rose gold, so you can see that they're a really, really pretty rose gold. I like them. They're very, very different from this pair. This pair has a dark frame. This pair has, you know, a lighter frame. So this pair has the nose pieces as well. So I really like these. I think that these are very chic, so they're a great statement piece for fashion as well as functional with prescription. So I will link again both of these pairs down below. I love them, love, love, love them both. So definitely check out Zimp Opical. Again, super, super affordable. You can order through your insurance. If you want them as statement pieces, we're talking like 20 to $40. So not bad at all. So definitely check them out down below. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna cook up. And then of course I'll show you my final breakfast, but I'm going to have one whole egg and then half of a cup of egg whites. To that, I'm going to fry up one of the Sam's Choice chicken apple sausages. These whole link is only two points and it's so good and it's clean clean ingredients i love it 15 grams of protein too and then for some greens i'm gonna pop in some baby spinach i've been really doing that a lot in my eggs it's been helping me get in a little extra greens and then i'll probably have some fruit so i'll be back to show you breakfast All right so here's breakfast this morning i have the one half a cup of egg whites one full egg one chicken sausage lots of spinach and then i'm gonna have three of these little cuties i need to eat these up i'm on water number one out of my gallon and i did decide to go ahead and top my eggs with two teaspoons or one point worth of parmesan cheese so you guys my entire breakfast is only three points two for the sausage one for the parmesan cheese you can't beat that and it has a ton a ton of protein and is actually pretty low calorie so it's time for breakfast. I'm going to have some kombucha. I'm gonna have the Living in Gratitude Fall Edition. This is three smart points, but only 60 calories. I know, I know. But I'm gonna have this. I'll probably have a snack a little bit later. It is just before 9 a.m. I'm still working on my meal prep. I filmed this video on Sunday, so I'm doing meal prep right now. So this will kind of give me that added energy and get me through. So for a snack with my kombucha, I'm going to have one of my pumpkin chip bars that I made in meal prep. This is what these look like. They are only four points on blue and green and one point on purple. I did make these on Monday's meal prep video, so check that out. This whole bar is four smart points. So I'm going to enjoy this along with my kombucha. It's always a good day when Imperfect Foods arrives. I do get this every two weeks. I love it. It's such a great company. They sell produce and other products at a really good discount to help prevent food waste. So this is all food that would just be thrown away if they didn't sell it at a reduced price. So not only are you helping with food waste, but you're getting some great products, lots of new things, not just produce. So let's dig into this week's box. So first I picked up the Angelic Bakehouse raisin wheat bread. I actually bought their other bread and really, really liked it. This is a sprouted bread. It is only 70 calories per slice. I am going to put the points here on the screen for you guys, but I love raisin bread. And I thought if I was going to have it, let's at least make it healthier by going with a sprouted option. And then I have some spring mix. This was a really good price. This is three to $4 in the grocery store. And I want to say I paid just over $2 for some organic spring mix for salads. I'm actually going to have a salad tomorrow. And then I got quite a bit of produce as always. I grabbed a couple of limes. All the produce that I get is always organic. So I grabbed a couple limes. I picked up a nice cucumber because I've been liking to have this with that really good La Terrafina dip that I talk about all the time. And then I've never bought persimmons. I don't even really know what they are, but I saw them and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna try those. So I picked up a couple of those. If you know what a persimmon is, leave it down in the comments. I'm definitely going to have to use Google for that. And then I also picked up some bell peppers, two of those, I believe. Yep, two orange bell peppers. I always just like to have those on hand for recipes. And I see another lime and persimmon down here in the corner. So I actually have three persimmons and three limes. I put lime in my water. I always, always get the organic grapes if they have them because they are such a good price and they're so juicy and crunchy and sweet, literally the best. So I always pick those up if they're on the list, just so you know what you can purchase each week or bi-weekly or monthly, however you set it up changes every time. So grapes aren't always available, but whenever they are, I grab them. And then you guys have seen me pick up this bread several times. We love this take and break garlic bread. 
it's so good. It's organic. It's delicious. So whenever this is on there, I try to grab it too. And I think that's, oh, we got another cucumber. I guess I picked up two cucumbers, not just one. And then I also went ahead and grabbed a couple cans of tuna just because they were such great prices. This is just tuna in water. You guys, this was less than, I think it was like $1.50 a can, which is excellent. So I think I actually picked up two. Oh yep, yeah, there we go. It kind of got stuck on the side. And then I also grabbed a Pacific Foods organic veggie broth just because, again, I like to have this in my pantry and I'm completely out of veggie broth. And then anything that needs to be cold is always in one of these nice bags. There's a big, huge ice pack at the bottom. So this is all of my be cold, keep cold food. So I grabbed this for Troy. This is the Ollie Salamera without antibiotic snack pack. It has 13 grams of protein. There's cheddar cheese and crackers and salami. So I know that he'll like taking that in his lunch. I also picked up quite a bit of cheese because their cheese prices were really good. So I grabbed some of the Tillamook medium cheddar. And then I also grabbed the Tillamook medium cheddar in a block. And some of the Organic Valley string cheese. These string cheeses are really expensive, but they're really, really good. And they were a great price. So I picked those up and see what else. Oh, I got my favorite butter. You guys know I love the Mayoko's butter. This is a dollar 25 less than my grocery store. So whenever it's on there and I need it, I grab it. And last but not least for these next couple weeks, I grabbed some of the Distel organic sugar-free oven roasted turkey breast. This is zero points on both blue and purple and it's delicious and it has no weird ingredients and no sugar. So I think that's it. Yep. So that is the, this next two weeks in perfect foods order. I will have a link down below where you get $10 worth of free product of your choice. There's no minimum order. So you can just order your $10, pay a small shipping fee. If you order over, I believe $50, it's free shipping. I always order enough to have free shipping, but you have the option to pay shipping or not. So it's just a great company. And again, do your part to eliminate food waste. For dinner tonight, we're making crock pot beef stew. It's cold here. It's the first day of November. I'm here for the beef stew. I have a busy day today. We're actually gonna go show houses. So I wanna have dinner ready to go. So let me show you what is in our stew. And again, this is a slow cooker or crock pot recipe. We're going to need oil, flour, minced garlic, the recipe calls for red wine. I thought that I had some and I don't, so I'm just going to use this Marsala cooking wine. Beef broth or bone broth, whatever your preference is. Salt and pepper. A chuck roast, this is from Butcher Box. You guys know how much I love my Butcher Box. This is a grass-fed beef shoulder roast. You can pick up a discount for Butcher Box down in the description box. Great prices on grass fed, grass finished. The red meat, you can't beat it. It is the best. My husband and I swear that the Butcher Box red meat is hands down the best we've ever had. So this roast is from there. I'm just gonna chop this up. You'll need some tomato paste, parsley, thyme, a bell pepper, an onion, some frozen peas, potatoes. I thought that I had white potatoes and I don't, so we're having sweet potatoes in our stew. You could really do either one. Lots of carrots and a couple of stalks of celery. So let's chop and make some stew. So we're gonna get started chopping. I have a bowl here. I'm just gonna throw everything into that. I am going to peel my potatoes and my carrots and then we're just going to chop everything up toss it in a bowl, and then we'll do the chuck roast into stew meat sized pieces, and then we're ready to throw it all in the crock pot. If you are not a fan or using crock pot liners, highly recommend. It makes cleanup so easy. So I added in my diced up beef and I'm going to put a quarter of a cup of flour over the top. 
Give that a quick stir. I want to coat the beef in the flour. And then into my crock pot, I'm going to put all of my cut up veggies and potatoes. It looks so good, you guys. This is going to be delicious. And I think the sweet potatoes are going to be a nice touch to this stew. Make it a little different using the sweet potatoes versus regular potatoes. And then I'm going to add in, oh, look what I have in here. Um, I'm going to add in one half of a cup of my frozen peas. Then we're going to put two and a half cups of beef broth, or in my case, bone broth. And I, this is a half of a cup, so I'm going to do two and a half cups worth. We're also going to add a big, big scoop of minced garlic. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add two, just because we have lots of veggies in our stew. And then we also want two tablespoons of tomato paste. So I'm going to put those in. We're going to add one tablespoon of oil. Mine is avocado oil. I'm just going to drizzle that right over the top. And then we also need one half of a cup of red wine, or in my case, Marsala wine. I hope that this works. I think that it will for the same kind of flavor profile of stew. And then it's lots of seasoning. So I'm going to put in a hefty dose of salt and pepper. This is going to be a very large batch, so we wanna make sure that we're seasoned really well. And then I'm going to put in about a tablespoon worth of parsley and about a tablespoon worth of organic thyme. And then let's give this a stir, get everything nice and combined, and then we're ready to throw this on low for about eight hours. All right, we're on low for eight hours. I'm so excited for stew. It's going to be delish. I've been so busy today, you guys, I almost forgot to take my greens. So these are the greens that I take. These are the My Adventure to Fit greens in the apple and banana. You guys know I love these. I've shown them in several videos. It's just a really great way to get in some extra greens. You can add these to things like smoothies. You can mix it in with water. What I do is dry scoop it. And basically what that means is I just put the powder in my mouth along with water, I swish it around and take it that way. You can do the same dry scooping method with pre-workout as well. I know there's a lot of people that do that. So let's take my greens for the day. I will link these down below for you guys with a 10% discount. All right, my greens are done. Let's get on with our day. So excited for lunch. I'm doing a spin on my Jen salad. My Jen salad is on my website. This is pretty similar, just a little bit of a spin on it. So let me walk you through what is on my salad. So I have two pieces of the Kali Power New Chick on the block. It is one point per chicken piece. So I have two points or two pieces that I just chopped up with some kitchen sears here on my salad. My dressing also is on my website, but it is balsamic vinegar, spicy mustard, salt and pepper, and then a teaspoon of oil. I whisk that all together and it makes a one smart point salad dressing that is delicious. I have one ounce of feta cheese, which is three smart points one tablespoon or one point worth of the Simple Truth mini croutons and Mediterranean. These are so fun to add to salad. I have one tablespoon of raw sunflower seeds and one tablespoon of these Patience No Sugar Added Cranberries. And I put that all on a bed of organic spring mix. And just so you guys know, I did cook my chicken in my little mini Copper Chef air fryer. I'll link this down below. You guys know I love it great for just one or two people. So my salad is two points for the chicken, one point for the salad dressing, three points for the feta, one for the croutons, one for the sunflower seeds, one for the cranberries. So it is a total of 10 points for today's lunch. And this is super filling and I can't wait to dig in. It's been a minute since I've made a Jen salad. So I'm leaving here in about a half an hour to go show houses for the rest of the night. I'll take you guys with me. We have a solid four hours of house hunting. We are looking at about a half a dozen. So I'm taking some snacks. So this is the brand new Alani New Fit snack. This is their peanut butter crunch, their brand new flavor. It is really, really good. I mean, it's absolutely delicious. I like these bars, like I've mentioned before, I just can't eat them every day. Uh, they do not have very good ingredients for one, but mainly because they contain malitol, which really upsets my stomach. And I'll insert a picture here 
of some of the other side effects of malitol. So I can't eat this every day, but every once in a while I like them. It has 16 grams of protein. It's six smart points, 180 calories. So I'm going to take this as a snack. I'm probably not going to be home until after eight o'clock PM. So it's gonna be a late night and a late dinner. So I want something that's going to help keep me full. So I'm gonna bring that. And then I'm also going to bring my mixed sticks. You can have both of these sticks for two smart points and there's 10 grams of protein. So this is 26 grams of protein between these two things. I think that will help keep me nice and full. Hey guys, I just left the house to go show property. I'm at McDonald's uploading meal prep for tomorrow so that I don't have to leave. I did not even get a chance to clean my house last week. That's how insane busy I've been. So I'm planning on just spending the whole day tomorrow cleaning, taking down Halloween, putting up Thanksgiving. So I thought since I was going out today that I would go ahead and get meal prep uploaded and ready to go. And then I think I'm going to get a coffee. It's going to be a long, very busy, busy night. So I think I'm going to go to Starbucks and grab a coffee. So if, if I do, I'll let you guys know what I'm having. I did bring my Alani protein bar and my next stick. So if I need a snack or something while we're out and other, oh, and my water, I did bring, let me show you. I did bring the last water. So once I finish this, I drank my gallon of water for today. So that is awesome. So that's kind of the plan. I did put the crock pot on to keep warm and yeah, let's go show some houses. We have already put in two offers for this client and have not one either offer. The market here is absolutely positively insane. So hopefully we find something good today. Oh, and he's bringing his mom with us and his mom um, apparently has lots of opinions when it comes to what he's doing. And he's older, like in his 30s. So it's an interesting dynamic. I've spoken to her on the phone, but I haven't met her. So hopefully she can talk a little sense into him to up his budget a little bit so that we're not as competitive in our offers, you know, competing so heavily. We're in a little higher price point, but only time will tell. So anyway, I'm going to finish uploading my video, grab a coffee and let's go look at houses. Uh, yes. Can I get a venti nitro cold brew with the cinnamon almond milk foam? And can I have extra foam and extra cinnamon? All right, guys, here's my coffee, big venti, lots of extra foam and cinnamon. I don't love Starbucks, but I do have to say that I do like this particular drink. So I'm gonna start my nap and head to my first showing. So I'm going to have my Alani new bar. I wanted to show this to you guys. Look how good that looks. This new peanut butter crisp, I have to say is really good. I would say that it's my number one choice and then munchies would be my number two choice. This one is six points instead of five. So it's one extra point, but Honestly, I think it's worth it. The, it has really good peanut butter flavoring. It actually reminds me of the Little Debbies. So again, I don't love the ingredients. I don't love the malitol. I don't eat these every day, but this is a good way for me to get in 16 grams of protein while I'm out and about. One house down on to house number two, which is pretty interesting. House number two is literally a block from my mom. So I already know it's a great neighborhood. So he likes the first house. So now we're moving on. So number two. So we're on my street where my mom lives and literally you guys, it's crazy how close these houses are. Uh, this house actually has an open house right now. So there's probably gonna be quite a few people, but here's what is super duper interesting. So here's my mom's house that we're passing right now. And then this house is right here. All right, you guys look at this stew. This looks so delicious. It has gotten nice and thick. Everything is cooked completely through. So I just got home. It's 20 minutes to seven and I'm going to have dinner. So I have one serving of my beef stew. This is five points on the blue plan. I'll put all the other points and calories here on the screen. This is going to be dinner and then I'll show you what I'm having for dessert. So this is my dessert, one of the brand new Clio bars, the less sugar. These are only three smart points for the full bar. They are so good. I love the peach. I love the mixed berry. There's a hundred calories, one gram of sugar and eight grams of protein. And it is three points. So I bought these off of the Clio bar website. I have not been able to find them locally. So I'll make sure that I link the Clio bar website down below for you guys if you want to order. And again, there's mixed berry and peach.
on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. Don't forget to check out that description box where you'll find the glasses. So many options, super affordable. Glasses are kind of a statement piece now. So if you just want them, even without a prescription, they're kind of fun to have just to kind of go with your outfits. And you can't beat the price on Zim. So definitely check that out. You'll also find my nutrition coaching website, all the other links and discount codes to the items I shared today and my favorite things and a link to join us over on Facebook. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out jenswwjourney.com for tonight's dinner recipe. It was amazing and happy, happy Wednesday, friends, and I'll see you in my next video.